So keeping with the theme of a wellness honeymoon, we actually sought after another healer, and this healer's name was Choko Gede Rai, and he lives in a village called Puri Nagari, which is about 20 minutes from Ubud, and you can basically book this healer a day in advance. You can book him through a travel agency, which I will link below, and you can have a driver drive you out to the location very early in the morning preferably and because there is a long line there's going to be a lot of people sitting around waiting for healing and it's not guaranteed that you will be able to see him so make sure you book at least one day out in advance his services cost about 25 us dollars for the appointment make sure you dress appropriately do not wear a dress or have your legs exposed because he will be laying you down flat on your back and be doing healing work all over your body while people sit around you and observe. It's also advised that women not be menstruating during a healing session, as well as make sure when you pay Chokodorai, you put the payment wrapped up and tucked into an offering. So that's basically customary that you never actually hand money directly to a healer. So, a healing body reading session with Chokodorai is different for every single person who goes to see him. He basically focuses on reflexology and pressure points and um, energy healing through your auric field. He uses these sticks and um, <laughs> that's why my friends and I call him Stick Man. He actually presses the sticks into different areas of your body because different areas of your body uh, can be linked to other organs in your body. So there's a whole intricate system that I thought was extremely interesting in learning about when I had the healing session with him. So he basically gave me an assessment and a diagnosis on my whole life by looking in my eyes, feeling all around my neck and my shoulders. He pressed into different areas of my skull that caused a lot of pain. So he explained that pain correlated with different areas of my body and connected to different parts of my mind. So his main diagnosis for me was that I have a monkey mind and I need to learn how to calm my mind and he did see that there was a blockage in my uterus and he asked me if I wanted to have children someday. I said yes. So he tried to clear that blockage through energy healing and reflexology pressure points throughout my whole body. So it's extremely interesting to see how different everyone is with their health analysis, but then actually at the same time how similar everyone is. So he definitely talked about fertility issues with me and just blockages in my mind and different scars that I have on my heart. So this part of the session, it got extremely intense with Chokodorai. He had me laying down and he was pressing so deeply into my thigh. I cannot explain how much that hurt and I was worried about bruising, but um, after he pressed enough, the pain did start dissipating. very vulnerable in front of this live audience healing session so if you're not you know ready to cry in front of people or you just never know what's gonna happen during a healing session like this and I didn't know that it would be so painful for me let alone I would have these blockages and aura clearings and I would burst into tears like that but I can say that I'm very glad Chokodurai showed me how blocked I was in my field, in my energy, in my spirit, my mind, my body, tension, all these different things because it's a whole mind-body spirit connection and he really touched on all those points so it did definitely clear blocks for me and um, just show me how simple and easy life can be just with the Balinese culture. And then when he sat me up, he pressed the sticks into the sides of my toes, in between each toe. And that was excruciating. I almost screamed out loud and I, I did burst into tears because the pain was pretty intense. And then I did ask him, how can I change my life? 
he said, you need to create a new personality. Look in the mirror every day and smile at myself and eat my smile. So that's just the cutest thing about Bali. Everyone is so focused on happiness and gratitude. Just smile. That's it. Just, just smile. Everything will be okay. Time will heal and the smile is your medicine. Overall, it was an incredible experience. I highly recommend him. There was something about his spirit that made me uh, feel very calm and at peace. And I am going to include a little video here about what one of my best friends went through in her recent trip to Bali, because she had a totally different experience. And so you can see that he had an ability to heal just based on how a person um, is operating in the world, and the different layers that they have. And I'm sitting there waiting for my turn to see this stick man. I'm a little nervous because I don't know what he's going to do. And I go up to him with a big smile. And he looks at me and he says, you're fine. Be happy. And I was like, wait, what do you mean I'm fine? What? Like, I got work to do. Like, there's something, you know, what do you mean I'm fine? <laughs> and he said, no, you're fine. Be happy. Be like stick. Connect mind and body. And then he shooed me away and that was it and I was kind of like uh okay I guess that was it like I'm all the way here in Bali and this is what I find like hmm, okay and I guess for me at the time um, that message was reaffirming the work that I had to do um, so I think it just depends on where you're at. It's important to note here that you don't have to travel to find yourself as seen online or even in movies. All of that knowledge you need is within you. However, there are certain meridian points and chakra centers around the globe that have a higher energy for healing. And if you're interested in that area of study, check out astrocartography. Another thing to note here is about spiritual seekers. Sometimes different healing modalities get a bad rap because one could assume that seekers are so lost and just putting their power in someone else's hands and worshiping false idols, gurus, even black magic and disconnecting from God. But when you really investigate and deep dive into ancient wisdom, there are so many connections with modern science and ancient healing. These two healers used ancient modalities of body readings through reflexology and meridian points to basically understand the central nervous system and various connected organs within the body. So honestly, these healers both concluded the same things from both of my readings. They both told me I had an overactive mind, blockages in my uterus and lymphatic system, and they both told me I can live an easier, happier life by just mastering my thoughts, since all ailments truly do start within the mind. So rather than judging this stuff as woo-woo or pseudoscience, I think visiting healers is a wonderful opportunity to learn more about holistic healing and different perspectives of overall human health from around the world. Healers can't heal you. They guide you to heal yourself. So meeting with a coach, a healer, mentor isn't going to solve your problems. It's just an invitation to go deeper. So if you like this video, please join me on my next episode as I dive deeper on my spiritual journey throughout Bali and explore various yoga studios. And I meet a Vedic astrologer who essentially changed my entire life and show me how I can use my needle chart to understand my unique energy using Vedic archetypes and symbols to create the proper diet and career path for myself, as well as navigate through tough upcoming life transitions. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell as I upload new videos each week. Thanks so much for watching.